Hey guys, I'm going to show you how you can easily and quickly remove background from practically any picture using PowerPoint. But what most important, I'm going to show you a few little tricks that you need to know uh, in order to get the right quality, how to save it and so on and so on. So, so let's, uh, let's start. So obviously open a PowerPoint presentation, a blank one. Now what I recommend is to make it much much bigger so go to design and choose slide size and choose at least a3 you can make this a little bigger by making it double there is a limit i can't remember whether it's 80 but you can go uh, probably to a2 easily uh, then click uh, ok choose whether you want a landscape or portrait um, doesn't matter for me really and then again this doesn't matter uh, so once you have it, what I tend to do, highlight that both Ctrl A and just delete to have it blank. That's what I do. Then the next thing that I do is obviously add pictures. So you can either drag them onto PowerPoint or simply click on insert pictures and just go to a folder where you have them. So I'm going to drag them this time. So I'll start with this one. Bang. Here we go. Nice picture it filled in the whole frame so I'm not going to change it uh, out of curiosity I like also to click on size and position and it shows me 81% okay I'll make it 80 I like even numbers uh, that doesn't really matter that much but just in case I do that um, okay so then you what you need to do is to click remove background and then set the size just a, a bit larger than than the picture obviously itself do not attempt to do it on the border it might actually backfire don't make it too big or too small just more or less you know okay now almost done it perfectly now you can see there is still something remaining here so i'm going to uh, remove that so mark areas to remove and i'm going to go over that done okay i'm th wondering if it hasn't overdone it so i'm going to press control and scroll on my mouse to make it a bit bigger and scroll down okay and now I can see that actually I think it's done a pretty good job um, okay perfect now you might say oh that doesn't look perfect really that these are edgy borders um, here you know what that's not because of PowerPoint that's because of the picture it's been uh, photographed on a white background but it wasn't lit properly so if you are shooting photos and planning to remove the background make sure that you use something that's dark blue uh, or black then it's easier to remove it also you can use green but if you use green background that's kind of fairly light green make sure that you light the object properly so there are no um, lights green lights spill overs on the object itself because again that will not give you a good nice kind of edges it will make it very blurry and 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 something like here which is not that great so anyway i just click on keep changes and and basically that's it as you can see fairly good enough for what i need that's enough you know as i said it's not ideal but i'm not going to uh, ask people to shoot the photos again if you shoot it on white background you need to overexpose your camera by a few steps so it's actually much so the white background is really white and use the flash people are afraid of using flash they use external lights but use flash it usually works great okay so next step uh, I'm going to duplicate that slide I'm going to delete this picture and I'm, then I'm going to add another one um, here we go again similar story just in case I'll check the size now it's 78 oh okay I'll make it 75 uh, now sometimes PowerPoint does some funny things so hopefully it's gonna happen and I'm gonna tell you what to do so one Again, I'm grabbed by the corners, but you could easily grab it by here. Okay, again, quickly mark areas to remove. One, two. You can also just click, but usually I've found that if I make a line, it's, it's much more effective. Okay, uh, so control to make it bigger. One, okay. Ah, ah. 
that's what it it just done it as you can see it has removed the uh, purple border and it applied all the changes and if I now go again and click on where is it uh, okay I need to click on the picture format remove background it wants me to start again so what I need to do is simply undo it so control Z control Z again and now uh, I can do it again and and it's unfortunately PowerPoint does it a, a few times if you do a lot of editing come on Microsoft fix it it's a simple thing and it's a stupid thing very annoying uh, so such a great option and you just need to fix it a little bit okay it looks like again it's perfect I'm done with it keep changes so I'm going to do the same I'm going to duplicate my slide uh, because that's the easiest thing delete the picture and then drag another one so let me do a few more and I'll show you what I do next so size 79% uh -huh, I'm gonna make it 80 okay perfect remove background and the last one here we go no no, no I don't want to save it as 75 perfect okay Bank. here's a tricky one so as you can see uh, now it didn't remove those things so anyway let's start with areas to remove that we want to remove so it's a bit of here and oh, careful careful a bit of here and and this one as well almost done okay I'm going to again zoom in To make it better one okay uh, it's a tricky one doesn't want me to finish it well okay and then a little bit of here and that's it for or maybe I'll just do this one as well yeah for my for, for what I want it's it's enough so now I'm going to click on mark areas to keep and highlight those that I want to or mark those that I want to keep actually and again it's yeah I think it's done it good job so let's go out of that zoom out of that and let's see I think I'm happy so keep changes and that's it okay perfect now I have uh, a few options I can either go to each picture and click on save as choose a location where I want to save it and then I can simply uh, type the name of it and um, now PowerPoint doesn't give you an option to choose the size of the picture you save. Unfortunately, if you want to change it, you need to change it in the registry. And you can, if you Google how to change DPI of a picture in PowerPoint, you will find the, the instructions which registry key to change. I'm not going to show you because it's, it takes an, um, a few more minutes. It's an easy thing to do, especially if you're a technical person. So, you, so by default, it's I think 96 DPI and you can take it to up to 300 dpi's so if your pictures are not big enough after saving them uh, you can either make them bigger here in powerpoint by stretching them or by as i said making this thing a bit bigger and also by changing that registry key to to get that dpi to the maximum uh, that's another way of increasing that but sometimes obviously the quality will suffer so you need to figure out what's best for you and what I normally tend to do, I tend to save it as, so you can press F12 or you can just click save as. I choose a folder, uh, I don't know, somewhere I need to actually choose it now, yeah? Uh, I've got one folder here, I'm going to go up a bit, uh, maybe in pictures, pictures, yes, and I'm going to call it, um, I think that, that lamp is called Lenso c41 or something can't remember so i'm going to save it as powerpoint just in case so i don't lose it and i can re-edit it later on and then i'm going to do again save as but this time uh, okay you see it's saved here and i and i got a nice preview from windows 
uh, I can I'm gonna choose either JPEGs or PNG I, I will choose PNG first because that's higher quality usually depending on the original quality and you can choose just this one the one highlighted or all slides I will choose all slides because I want all pictures now each slide in your presentation has been saved as a separate file in this folder and you can see it Picasa has detected that if you don't use Picasa I recommend it install it so I have it now saved and now I'm going to put it in Picasa and edit in uh, in Picasa and prepare it for so these are the original uh, ones and these are with the removed background so I'm going to edit them and export them and prepare them for uploading them to Amazon so I'm sure you in, you enjoyed that so um, uh, please uh, check the links under the video check my other channel Camille's view as well uh, which is my main channel I, I, you're gonna love that channel it, it's brilliant help uh, uh, solutions to life and making your life amazing and, uh, and thank you for watching see you in next videos take care